because Twitch decides to screw me over. Actually, not Twitch. Uh, internet. I don't know what's going on. I pay a lot of money for my internet. And for it to screw up like this kind of really pisses me off. But if we do ever go away, don't worry. We will be back. Okay. Until at least the end of the show. All right. So, one pick for your YouTube accounts. Three picks for Twitch follows. Seven picks for subscribers. You can see how that data is panning out. See this? Subscribers, they're getting some points here. I've relegated myself to five because I'm the owner. I don't want it to seem like I'm being, like, you know, like I'm cheating. I'll do it with five. It'll be totally fine. Now, everybody who does get a pick are going to be earning some fantasy points whenever their superstars earn points. It's very, very simple scoreboard these days. Very, very simple. The the times that you score points or your, your superstar scores points is when they win a title. That's a point. Very simple. When they win a team mode tournament, that's a point. Very simple. When they win a pay-per-view match, that's a point. Very simple. You will be getting additional points at the end of Season 1, which will be SummerSlam, for any titles that you have with you. The whole point of team mode is collecting championships, and earning points will get you more opportunities to earn championships. All right, So it's kind of a winner get winner wins effect, all right? Now, the greatest of all time currently, Trish Stratus, this is what we're calling this position, but Trish Stratus right now is the greatest of all time. Whoever is in this spot at the end of the season, this superstar, will get the select luxury of capturing and holding all of her titles, and they will not be, uh, uh, what's the word, when you give the championship away? <laughs> I forget. Inactive. They, they won't be given away or, or, or let go of. I forget the effing word. Ah, I'm going to get upset. I can't believe I forgot that word. I'll, it'll come to me. Everybody else is, at the end of the season is going to have to give away all of the championships that they have collected except for one singles championship and one tag team championship. Now, if that person is owned, like Drew McIntyre, I, as his representative, will get to choose which championships he gets to keep. This will be on some, at SummerSlam. It's something that we're going to do a long, long time away. Now, we our schedule follows WWE. So, we've done the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Uh, every Monday Night Raw, we do a Monday Night T-Mode. These are all the titles that you're going to be able to see defended if they're drafted, meaning if somebody owns them in the chat, we'll have this little button clicked here. Um, if they're free agents, we'll have this button unclicked. All right, so we do Raw. We do NXT, who has taken over the ECW championships, as well as the Intercontinentals, uh, the Hardcore. And we do WCW slash SmackDown. Why slash SmackDown? Well, they take the SmackDown titles with them. Lord of Darkness title, million dollar title, women's tag team titles, they are defended on all three shows, so they have more propensity to be defended, and they also have special rules. The Lord of Darkness Championship gives you the complete control of the Undead Army, Swamp Father, Spooky Braun Strowman, Franken Strowman, uh, Wicked Black, Unleashed Randy Orton, all of those people are loyal to Hollywood Hogan, they're all in a stable with him, so he gets that luxury. The million dollar title is a very interesting one. You get double bubble, which means times two on any points that you accrue. So Dash Wilder, if he wins a tournament, instead of one point, he's going to win two. If he wins a tournament for a title, that's two points typically. But for Dash Wilder, it's four. So Dash Wilder is a pretty solid pick. Anyone with the million dollar title is a solid pick. But that's once you get the title not when you win the title. Now, Women's Tag Team Championships are defended on all three shows because they are way more tag team titles for the men than there are the women, so the women get the tag titles. Okay, that is my spiel. Um, I'm, I'm going to open it up real quick to some live selections. Some live selections. All right, so go ahead and uh, make your picks. Let me see. So last night during Halo, Victor McPhee, one of my longtime supporters on YouTube, been with me for three years, I think, maybe. Quite a long time. He chose The Miz last night when I was uh, playing some Halo with a friend. Anybody else want to make a pick while I am on this screen? Uh, just shout out some names and I'll tell you 
who we got. I will say that anyone who is vacated, thank you, thank you. Anyone who is on this card would be a really, really good idea because these guys are going to be the ones who might be getting some points as early as Sunday. Um, and with SummerSlam right around the corner, you kind of want to get to this top spot. Um, Sunday Extreme Rules Horror Show, the top person at the end of that show will be getting a free subscription to any channel of their choice. It could be my channel, which would give you some more picks, or it could be, I don't know, like Dr. Disrespect's channel, if they ever unban the man. <laughs> so, let me catch up on the comments, and let's see what we got here. I see you now. Perfect. Same thing happens to me and Buddy when we stream. Internet always stuff screws up. It's annoying, isn't it? What do you stream, man? What do you stream? Stream some WWE stuff. I hope someone run in, run in, runs in on Drew's match. Oh, I don't think so. I told you. I told you guys when I took care of Cena on Monday. I told you. I dared you. Go to, go to my YouTube channel. Go to my YouTube channel. And you'll see soon a video come out and it'll be just that match because it was a great match. One and two, I told you what was going to happen. I was going to beat Cena. And anyone who gets in, in my matches again, they're going to suffer the same fate. Vacated. Thank you. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Do, 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 do. Your stream crapped out. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. It pisses me off. I don't know why it does it, but it does it. And it might do it again in about 40 minutes at midnight. It might do it again, so just be prepared. Baron Corbin available. I think he is available. Oh, wait. I'll take Edge. All right, let's take, let's take a look. I'll, I'll see if I have Edge. Somebody did have Edge. Toritos has edge. Toritos has edge. Um, let's see. Who else? Uh, let, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's see. Who's some free agents? I believe Braun Strowman is a free agent. Um, I believe Jay Uso is a free agent. Big E is a free agent. Booker T is not a free agent. Sorry. Elias, but he hasn't been picked very much. Oh, actually, I don't know if um, Braun Strowman is a free agent. I'm sorry. I think I misspoke on that one. <laughs> I Yeah, I misspoke. The Beamer has Braun Strowman. Um, Stone Cold and My Time Triple H, both free agents. They have a rivalry. Those are some good picks, too. I'll drop a follow on your YouTube channel. Yeah, man, and, and, and I will recommend, I've got loads of back episodes of T-Mode on that, so you'll kind of be able to understand a little bit more of how it works. You'll go, oh, I, I see what we do here. This is really just the fantasy portion. There's a whole other portion, including in this tournament that happens, where, I mean, the big base is the tournament, and then we create our rivalries around what happens in the tournament. So I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. I'm going to call you the man. The man, welcome to the show. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, WWE stuff. Cool. Hey, um, I, I say this to everybody who does this. Feel free to w whisper it to me in the DMs of Twitch, and, and I'll check it out. I love I love seeing other people's ideas and what they stream, um, but I, I never remember. If you just drop it in the chat, I never remember. So you'll have to whisper it to me, otherwise it'll be... <laughs> it, it, it won't stay. It won't stay. If Baron's free, I'll take him. Fantastic. Baron Corbin has been selected. I will tell you, he used to be a member of Team Profit, and he did me very, very well. Um, so, oh, whoops. I'm going to put your full name in here. Because uh, it'll be easier for um, accounting duties. But Baron Corbin is officially off the books. Now, again... Whenever I stream again, or if I'm uh, hosting somebody else and you, you notice me in their chat, by all means, you can come and bug me and, and make your two other picks. Um, I try, I'm try. i going to be trying to stream almost every night. Our schedule tonight is going to be T-Mode, and then I might be playing some Halo because I kind of feel like playing some Halo. And uh, tomorrow I will be playing Ghost of Tsushima pretty much all weekend, unless that game sucks and I don't want to stream it. Then we'll come back to T-Mode on Friday night. That is my schedule, so come back anytime, make your other two picks, get these good points, man. All right. 
perfect. All right, I will go back to the game here and we'll continue. Kind of a good time for the, str the, the stream to drop there because at least it's not in the middle of a match. This stream dropped last time um, on Monday night. And so I had to throw out uh, Monday night's team mode in two parts on YouTube because that's just how I record these things. It, it really irritated me. I was really annoyed. Here we go. Bray Wyatt taking on Cedric Alexander. I think these guys are both free agents. I think these guys are both newcomers to the team mode tournament for season one. I don't think we've seen them yet. And they are getting an opportunity here tonight. Yeah, I was for you didn't want to be that annoying guy who advertises on other streams. That stuff, whack. Yeah, I don't personally do that. Um, you know, it is what it is. And I appreciate that. Thank you. RGO, there's two wrestling DVDs I need to get with. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I'm awful at reading tonight. There's two wrestling DVDs I need to get with the Sean Shelton match from Raw 20, 2005. Yeah, where he super kicks him off the springboard. I remember that. Shelton's best match. It's an awesome match. Okay. I met Baron in Denny's parking lot, actually, around this time last year, so got to represent. Cool, man. I actually like Baron Corbin a lot. I talk about this a lot. Um, when he was in NXT, I think I was watching either WWE 24 or something. It was like a backstage thing, and they were going over a few of the superstars, like Tyler Breeze, you know, around that era of NXT. And for whatever reason, they... they did a profile on him and I was like this dude looks like a douchebag sounds like a douchebag is pretty disrespectful backstage but and I hated him the whole the whole way through I was like I cannot stand Baron Corbin I really dislike him a lot until he became um, a mainstay on Tyler Breeze's Twitch channel right and in that core group of friends I was like nah, this guy's not that bad he's actually a pretty cool dude and he gets the job done. His whole gimmick when he was like the uh, constable or whatever of WWE Raw where he was like the GM, uh, he did a good job. He did a great, great job. So uh, Baron Corbin for me, uh, he reminds me a lot of Randy Orton in the sense that he's a good heel no matter what. You can put him anywhere. You put him on the low card, mid card, main card. He's a good heel no matter where you put him. And he has a pretty unique move set too. He's a, he's a decent guy, decent wrestler. That's cool, man. Was he was he super nice? Like, I imagine he was pretty respectful. Bray Wyatt. Personally, my favorite version of Bray Wyatt, right there. Kind of had like the perfect blend. Cedric Alexander. His speed is going to be a problem for Bray Wyatt in this matchup. We'll see if he can overcome it. Cedric Alexander, man, former NXT Cruiserweight Champion. Uh, it wasn't an NXT Championship when he held it, but he's a former champ. It counts. Here we go, first round matchup. Constable Corbin, now King Corbin, yeah, and he's doing an okay job with the King Corbin stuff. Ooh, wow, starts out with a code breaker. Oof. WrestleMania 2000 is best known for the triangle ladder match, obviously, and the four corners world title match with every McMahon in each corner. Oh, maybe I haven't gotten to that yet then. Oh, no, 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 I have. Do you mean like Mr. McMahon had, uh, let's see, Big Show with, with, was with Shane, Stephanie was with Triple H, uh, Mr. McMahon was with maybe Corporate Rock, and Linda was with, with Stone Cold? Did I get that right? Do I know my history? Is that correct? Might be. Or no, Mankind. Maybe somebody was with Mankind. Because I think, uh, I think it was an elimination match, right? And then... Hmm. 
Linda would have went would have went with mankind. Maybe Stone Cold wasn't even a part of it. Ooh, did he miss a, a WrestleMania? You're making me want to go back and watch some old school wrestling, man. They showed a couple clips uh, with Monday Night Raw tonight, pimping Monday Night Raw, like with Kane hitting like a, a tombstone, and the crowd was getting super loud, and I was like, damn, I miss the crowd. I miss the cheers. Face first, Bray, Bray Wyatt getting dropped on the outside, gets him right back up using his uh, ability there. He's going to have to give a little bit of a comeback in this matchup. Like I said, the speed kills in T mode. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Uh, it was after his mixed tag at Extreme Rules with Lacey Evans. Had no problem take, uh, talking with me and a friend. Got his pick and all. Linda was Mankind, I remember. Yes. I, I, I was thinking, I was like, wait, Fatal 4-Way. And I was like, wait, Stone Cold and The Rock in a Fatal 4-Way? I, I don't think... It didn't register right, but Mankind made sense. That's cool. He does seem like a pretty cool guy. Um, I actually like him a lot. Whenever he's featured on... Uh, I feel like my favorite Up, Up, Down, Down... I don't know if you're watching Xavier Woods' up, 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 Down, Down channel. But my favorite videos... Okay, Bray. Okay, Bray. I like it. I like it. Now finish this guy. Come on, now. Um, I like whenever he does the NFL tournaments. They're always hilarious. You've got Kofi, AJ, Miz, Baron Corbin, all talking shit. It's great. It's lovely, man. I love those videos. Spinning. Heel. Oh, sorry, no. Kick straight to the skull. I'm all over the place in my calls tonight, man. I usually know these calls. I want to get to hit, like, like I, lo I love WWE. Nice, you're naggy here. I love WWE, but tonight I'm just not feeling the commentary thing. It might happen, it might not. One, two, kick out, Cedric. It might happen, it might not, but I'm going to miss a few of these moves simply because it's, 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 it's just one of those nights. Having an off night on the commentary booth. Bray Wyatt crab walking his way to Cedric Alexander, who is really close to sitting on three finishers. Bray Wyatt. Going for Sister. Abigail. He's got it. He's going to hold that hand in. He's got it. One, two, and three. It's done. Bray Wyatt moves on. And again, he took some damage. Not a whole lot of damage, but he did take some damage. Akira Tazawa has... A pretty big mountain to climb in the second round. Now that Bray Wyatt has won his first round matchup against Cedric Alexander. Alright. Congratulations, Bray. Rock was with Vince. Okay. Show was with Shane. Yes. Foley was with Linda. Yes. Triple H was with Stephanie. Yes. Okay, I do remember that. And if it was an elimination match, I remember that. Love the Madden tournaments on up, up, down, down for sure. They're hilarious, man. They're some of the best videos. Oh, shoot. They got the bumper there. <laughs> it spooked me. <laughs> oh, man. These matches are going to be killer, man. This bottom half of the bracket. Sheamus, Roman Reigns. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into it before my, I lose my internet again. It's just a hiccup, friends. If I do lose the internet, it'll be back. It'll be back. The United Kingdom Championship is on the line tonight. I can't think of a better United Kingdom champion. Well, of course, other than Drew McIntyre. But if it's not Drew McIntyre, let's say if somebody comes and screws me out of the tournament because that's the only way Drew ain't going to win. I'd love to see Sheamus get his hands on a title. The Celtic Warrior. His tag team partner Cesaro on Monday night winning a championship, getting it held up above his head and winning the Teemo tournament earning two fantasy points Cesaro is a Teemo champion Sheamus wants to join him
Sheamus. Of course, we are in an outdated version of 2K20, so we are going to have some outdated tag teams. The bar still officially together in this game. Do I like the Up Up Down Down Championship? I do, and I almost bought that one. But then I was like, nah. I like it. I like the look of it. I think it's really cool for, like, if I decide to get a group of friends together and we switch it around for whoever's... Like, like we do a little bit of an Up Up Down Down Championship League. I think that'd be way fun. But uh, not until I get my own place. Not until I have a group of friends who are willing to, like, you know, competitively play against each other. If I can do that, man, it'd be great. It'd be a way fun uh, championship to toss around my friend circle. The big dog, Roman Reigns, is in the tournament. And his opponent from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman The damn Dippin' Dots. Rowan Reigns' music probably covered that entire thing up. Welcome to the show, Jay Grow. I'm going to say JG. <laughs> JGR0105. How's it going, man? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Opinions on Reigns? Um, I feel like he is a aws an awesome... He's got it. He's got it, for sure. Like, he has the presence. I just feel like he hasn't found his... gimmick, if that makes sense, right? Here's what they should have done. There was a, there was a key point in his career that turned on a dime, and I was like, okay, he can do it. And, and he should have done what, what Kenny Omega did tonight on AEW. After WrestleMania, after beating The Undertaker and coming out, at, or maybe it was when he beat Lesnar and he was the champion. I don't remember which one it was, but he came out and the whole crowd was just booing him. Just booing him. And he just didn't say anything. And he just laughed and then he left. It was perfect. And then next, the next week, they turned him into, I'm a good guy. I'm the new John Cena. And it killed his momentum again. It's awful. They need to make him a badass heel. He needs to be a badass but they never let him be a badass. I think he has the capability of being the guy that you can, you know, put the, the business on his back and, and have him carry it up the mountain. I just don't think that WWE has given him that spot yet, allowed him to take that spot yet. I like Roman Reigns a lot. Out of the three S.H.I.E.L.D. members, he was my least favorite, but I like him quite a bit. He's, he's, he's much improved. I was not a very big Cena fan. Um, just because, like, there was a lack of wrestling that happened there. So, Roman Reigns, to me, is like, okay, at least it's not Cena. We're good. <laughs> at least it's not John Cena. I'm happy. Just call me Jace. Perfect. Okay, I'll try to remember that. It's going to be hard. You might have to remind me a couple of times. Jace, welcome to the show. Yeah, he would be really good as a badass heel. Absolutely. He needs the rock moment to get over with the fans that hate him. I agree. But in, in today's WWE, where everything is so uh, rehearsed and it just feels so tried, like they've... I, I, they just need to let the... They, they need to let the reins loose, if that makes sense. Sheamus upset at me for not calling the action here. Tell me... He's showing me. He's showing me. 10 beats of the Bowdry. The Bowdry? Bowery? Bowery? Bowdry? I think it's Bowdry. At any rate, Roman Reigns getting his chest beat in by the Celtic Warrior. This is a first round matchup, man. Hey, Linger, don't sweat them. That Tazawa just saved you from a finals loss. <laughs> All right? We need you healthy, all right? We got, you got Baron Corbin on Sunday, who is now represented in the chat by the man. So, you you needed Andrade focused, all right? So, don't sweat it. No worries. Oh, but while you are here, actually, um, you have the option, because you are the representative of Mr. Money in the Bank for Extreme Rules, 
You do have the option of choosing the stipulation, and I don't remember if you ever told me a stipulation for that match, or if you just want it to be a singles match. So let me know. New entrance music would be... I think that's due. I think it's due. I like his entrance music because it's the old shield music, but he'll never be able to fully escape uh, that shadow without new entrance music. I agree. Shield for me was Ambrose. Uh, Rollins, Ambrose, then Reigns. Yeah, I feel like that's probably most people's picks. Yeah, you could just call me Mike, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Okay, Mike. I'll try to remember that. Again, I'll try to remember. Who has Corbin now? The man. Uh, we're going to call Mike. Mike has Corbin. Oh, stipulation. I was thinking of that. Yeah, let me know. Superman punch takes down Sheamus going for the pin and the win is Reigns. One, two, kick out Sheamus. Okay, Sheamus, here's what I'm going to need you to do, friend. All right. One. Well, I know you're from Ireland. I'm from the UK. But one UK guy to another UK guy. I'm going to need you to take Reigns out a little bit more than what you have here. DDT perfect. Hit him with that broke kick. Come on now. Hit him with that broke kick. Oh. I'm, I'm cool with this, too. I am cool with this, too. Yes, perfect. Take some damage to Reigns. Because I'm confident as hell. Bobby Lashley's a great competitor. Former Universal Teemo champion. He doesn't stand a chance against Drew tonight. I'm coming off of a win against John Cena. All right? I'm coming off of a, 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 a Teemo championship win for the Intercontinental Gold Strap Teemo title last week. Drew McIntyre is just a winner, and it's too bad that Bobby Lashley is going to get in the way of that. Roman Reigns just took a lot of damage there. Shot to the back of the head. Roman catches, hits a gut wrench. Going to drag him to the middle and attempt a pin here. Going for the pin is it enough. One, two, referee in perfect position, but it's a kick out at one. Sheamus back to his feet first. Strike completely dodged out of the way. Roman Reigns going to show his power. And a nice power bomb there. Roman Reigns pumping himself up. Trying to hit the comeback on Sheamus. Clothesline. Another one. The big dog looking to take down the Celtic warrior in the middle of the ring. And he is... He's, oh my... He's going to go for a little bit of a, a running start on this Superman punch. Superman punch connecting down goes Sheamus. And this could do it. He could be done. And it's... Uh, he didn't get that run in. Popped off. One, two. Kick out Sheamus. Sheamus back to his feet. He's got to be very careful about not missing this attack here. Spear takes down Sheamus. Going for the pin and the win. One. Two, three, Reigns moves on in the tournament. But he did his job. He took down some... He took down Here's Roman Reigns. I don't think we've ever seen Roman Reigns escape the first round of a team mode tournament. I think he's making his debut tonight for season one. For the beta season, I think he was uh, not only selected in the team mode picks... But I believe he had a couple of team of tournaments where he just didn't really pan out. He could be a threat. Roman Reigns wins this matchup. I'm going to make sure I didn't miss a message here. I bet Sheamus wins the tournament. If he does, I guess Sheamus next season. I hope that he does not win. <laughs> oh, I see him now. Um, I'm throwing out Iron Man ladder matches because I think they would be too long. Yeah, those ones are pretty unreliable. Don't tell people your picks already. That's true. There's some strategy to these picks. A lot of people are going to go to free agency. There are a lot of people who came in, followed, and they're one and done accounts holding on to some really good superstars. Some might even pick him this season. Then they could keep him. That's true too. Sweet. Dropping you a follow on Twitter. I appreciate that, man. Um, hey, just keep in mind, all right, I'm a little bit psychologically not all there okay there's like three different people in my head i don't go to doctors so i can't confirm that for sure but that's what i think 
Um, so you might find, like, some wrestling tweets there. You might find some political tweets there. That's Evil Derek. And then you might find some really uh, ratchet twinks. Uh, oh, boy. That was a really bad mess up. You might find some ratchet uh, tweets there. And that's, uh, that's, that's evil, Cin that's Cin not evil, Cin that's Cindy, alright, Cindy is my ratchet side, so, uh, tw go for it, but, uh, my, my, my Twitter could be kind of all over the place, so, <laughs> here we go, final first round matchup, Bobby Lashley taking on my guy, Drew McIntyre coming off of a huge win over Cena on Monday night. I mean, you guys are saying you're sick of seeing Drew McIntyre in these team owned tournaments. Well, I mean, so is everybody else. But just Drew McIntyre wants to keep on going. He wants to keep on being selected for these tournaments. It's not up to me. It's up to the superstars. They're the ones who sign up for the tournaments. Drew McIntyre wants every title in Season 1. It was a good pick by me. What can I say? Take him. Take him, Drew. Take him. Howdy. Howdy. European uppercut. Sorry, not a European, just a straight uppercut. Luke Thez and some ground and pound and Drew McIntyre sending a message to everybody else left in this tournament. Good, good. Yes, yes. Would Last Man Standing be too long? I don't think so. We don't have a whole lot of um, matches on this card and a few of them might and we don't have, like, a Teemo tournament planned for that night. So I don't think that a, a Last Man Standing would be out of the question. So Andrade versus Baron Corbin, Last Man Standing. I, a, like, a straight fight. Last time we did a Last Man Standing match, keep in mind, last time we did a Last Man Standing match, um, I think it was Brock Lesnar and Dean Ambrose, maybe? And I think that was in universe mode, and my... God, was that an awesome match. It was a fight. It was a legit fight. And it was a lot of fun to call. It was a little long. But for the storyline, it made a whole heck of a lot of sense. Our 2K19 Universe mode was one of my favorite ones. Gut Wrench Slam here. Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre ripping each other apart. If this continues... Uh, we will separate these guys and restart the action in the middle of the ring. But we're going to let them play a little bit. We're going to let them do what they do. A UK championship is on the line. right? If you're not taking this seriously, then you don't belong. It's random picks, so I'm not mad at profit. That's, I mean, that's the thing. That's what I, that's why I call it a fantasy game. If you're a fan of fantasy sports like football or basketball, you just go, okay, I know their skill set, but I also have to take into effect random luck, right? If, if my quarterback goes down with an injury, not much I could do about that. It's, it's a beautiful system that we've got set up here. It's not perfect, and I'm sure we'll make some changes going forward. Um, just to kind of tweak and improve the system as we go along. Um, it's only like six months old, this concept. So it's, it's still in its infancy. But man, is it fun. Drew McIntyre hits a big clothesline. Gonna rip off that, that silly, silly jacket that Bobby Lashley's got on. Snap suplex. Like I said, this is a bit of a rematch from Backlash. We saw these guys in the real world take each other on. And uh, remember who won that match? I do. Of course, these guys are part of the T-Mode universe. Anybody can show up. We have legends. We have old school versions of new characters. We have new characters. We might be getting in some different new characters, depending on how long this 2K sim does... Uh, is, is not a thing. We're not getting 2K21. So at least for the next calendar year, we will be sticking with this roster and we'll probably make a few changes, take a few people out, add a few people in. Same with the titles. We might take a few out, add a few in. Those will all happen in uh, the season changes. Drew McIntyre hitting some white noise, taking down Bobby Lashley, going for the pin, and the win, one, two, not even a two count. 
Drew McIntyre does have a finisher. Fireman's carry position. Drops him on the knee. And look at him. He is all tangled up in those ropes. Shot to the gut. Lashley goes for a shoulder block and a quick pin on the My Time and I See Gold Strap Timo champion, Drew McIntyre. Don't forget, this is a first round matchup. If Bobby Lashley can get a pin or a submission victory over Drew McIntyre, it will give him a little bit. I mean, it's going to give him a title match. In the first round, pretty much a guaranteed title match. Uh, and you got to think that Bobby Lashley's eyeing that My Time championship. Of course, the My Time Timo title is one of the WWE championships. We call it the My Time title because I see Triple H's My Time, right? Uh, his era of that championship, he, he made it look the best, in my opinion. Going for the pin here. One, two. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Face first. Face first, and Bobby Lashley has beaten Drew McIntyre. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, damn, that sucks. Bobby Lashley has earned a championship match. Uh, I, I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, we... I'm cool... He can't defend his My Time Championship tonight. He's got a match on Sunday. Already signed. It's inked up. But if Bobby Lashley... What do you guys think? Would Bobby Lashley be cool with going after the gold strap IC title? Because he does have a shot. If he wants it in the main event tonight, he'll get it. What do you guys think? Oh, wow. I did not expect a win there from Bobby Lashley. But Bobby Lashley did win. And uh, if you're the champion in the first round and you get a win, you become a number one contender. It's all about collecting championships here. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> oh, man. No judgments. Yeah, I mean, yeah, my Twitter's all over. Um, last man standing is my pick then. Cool, I'll, I'll update that. <laughs> Stop playing, Prophet. What? Damn, I missed the finish when I got a drink. I, I, I almost missed the finish. Bobby, good win. Ooh, I mean, it, it's going to be an interesting championship win here. Akira Tozawa taking on Bray Wyatt. First match in the second round. Here we go. I did not expect that, man. Damn. Linger, I feel your pain. Ah. Ah. Losing in the first round. Ah. If Akira Tozawa had a tag team partner, a prominent tag team partner, then of course Linger and Andrade would be defending their tag team titles in our main event. But I don't know Akira Tozawa with any prominent tag team partners. Making his way to the ring from Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 100. But a win over Miss Money in the Bank is very impressive. Damn, man. It looks like uh, looks like Drew's a little distracted for Sunday as well. Mm. Well, people on the YouTube side of things and people who might be here live who are new, um, here's my schedule for the week. And if you're on YouTube, you're seeing this probably about on Friday. Thursday, we will be at 10 o'clock streaming about the same time as we started our stream tonight. Every time we start our stream, we'll be playing a little bit of Ghosts of Tsushima. <sighs> We will have those large blocks of gameplay out um, on YouTube probably over the weekend, if not Friday. Um, Friday's T-Mode tournament will be delayed unless Ghost of Tsushima is not a very good game for me. It might be a great game, but if I feel like it's a game that's kind of losing traction or steam on here on the uh, on the stream or if my ps4 just is too junky to stream it then uh we'll just continue with a t-mode tournament on friday you'll know of course when we do make that decision uh, again follow me on twitter um 
Damn, I'm real distracted because I lost that match. That sucks. Regardless, WWE people, on Sunday, we will be streaming our Extreme Rules Horror Show pay-per-view special. It will be after WWE streams their Extreme Rules Horror Show. So you can come on over, you can watch all of the build-up for our great matches that we do have planned. I will put them up on the screen again. We will have those matches played out, plus maybe some fun ones that we haven't got in that list. And we'll be reviewing Extreme Rules Horror Show. I'm sure we'll also get a date for SummerSlam announced. We'll probably also be building to an NXT pay-per-view as well. I'm going to add in NXT pay-per-views. That way our storylines, that way we get a little, we get some more gifted subs out. We get uh, some more pay-per-views out on Sundays. Nothing but good news coming on Sunday. You're going to see a lot of content from me over the weekend. You're going to see some poker. You're going to see some uh, freak-out comps, some T-modes, some Ghosts of Tsushima, which is what we're going to hit pretty heavy uh, this weekend. Oh, big, big takedown there. STO takedown from Wyatt. Double axe handle straight to the back of the head. Oh my god. Bray Wyatt. Almost a T-bone suplex there. Taking down Akira Tozawa. Going for the quick pin. Is that enough to put Tozawa away? One, two, kick out Tozawa. He's got to hit his comeback. It's his only hope. Yikes, I don't think he's going to do it. Tozawa all the way. Uh, do next week on Raw. Bobby versus Drew. My time championship. Maybe. Clay Elias says a championship match next week on Raw. Hey, that's if he survives, right? Or Bobby vs. Booker. Okay, I like that idea. We can book that for Monday right now, and that, that would be a solid idea. Bobby gets a championship match. I have a thought. Feel free to dismiss it if you don't like. 10 or 20 man Royal Rumble for a T-mode spot. Going for the pin. One. Two. Three, it's done. Sister Abigail and Bray Wyatt moves on to the finals for the United Kingdom Championship. Here is your winner, Bray Wyatt. That was a huge upset by Tazawa in the first round, and it gave an easy passage for Bray Wyatt here in the second round. It'll be Bray Wyatt in the finals. He's only got to win one more match for two fantasy points and a T-Mode title. Will he be having these fans here in Blackpool following the buzzards. We'll see. Oof. God, Bray Wyatt's good. He's good, man. He's got the bumper at the pay-per-view. So a T-mode spot, what does that mean? 10 to 20 man Royal Rumble for a T-mode spot. What's a T-mode spot mean? I'm confused. Uh, Reigns versus Lashley. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's update this. Bum, bum, bum. Tazawa drops. That was a big, big upset. <sighs> 10 to 20 man roll around for a T-mode spot. Winner gets to replace someone in a future T-mode. Oh, okay. I see what you say. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. But um, they would all have to be random entrants. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Hmm. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida. Let me think on it. Let me, let me digest it. Let me look at the entire card and go, hmm. And we'll see. Roman Reigns. Getting a first round victory over Sheamus. Pretty strong matchup between the two. And now he's got an even tougher matchup in Bobby Lashley, who has just defeated my guy, Drew McIntyre. So we'll see. Thank you for the follow. Uh, let's see. Merge. Merged Zamasu. Right? 
Merge. Merged? I'm gonna say merged. Merged, welcome to the show. And they wouldn't replace somebody picked in AT mode. Right, so they would only replace somebody like Ribby or something, right? The people who we have like banned from entering into T modes, is that what you're saying? Agree, merge. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Fight for the Fallen was great tonight on All Elite Wrestling. I completely agree. I think AEW um, did a really good job tonight. We'll see if it reflects in those uh, key demographic ratings. I think it will. I just ordered WrestleMania 20 on Amazon. It's 3-disc collector's edition. I tried ordering it on eBay, but it won't ship to where I live, so I got it on Amazon. Mm. Amazon's great, man. I was watching earlier tonight. I'm going to pimp a TV show. All right, I'm in a movie, actually, right? Written, co-written, and co-directed by uh, Jermaine Clement and uh, Taika Waititi, who did, of course, Thor Thunderdome, whatever that Thor that Thor movie was, the, the good one, the funny one. Um, what We Do in the Shadows, the TV show, I'm two episodes in, it's hilarious. The movie, hilarious. Go watch those, they're great. And I, and I just ordered them off Amazon, I just bought them, straight up, boom, bought them. Um, another good movie, if you don't like satirical weird comedy, um, if you like a little bit of a tense drama in your life, then I would suggest on Amazon, it's an Amazon original, if you have Amazon Prime Video, it's it's free right now, you can just go watch it. Not right now, of course, you want to watch the rest of this Teemo tournament, but when we're done here and you're like, eh, Halo's not my thing, head on over to Amazon, watch The Vast of Night, really, really tense Great camera work. Excellent. Excellent. Same with the YouTube people, alright? I mean, feel free to go watch them and then come back and comment what you thought about them. But make sure you do finish the tournament. Big shot from Lashley. Reigns gets right back up. Falls into that face-first maneuver there. What even is that? That's the thing that beat me, kind of. What does he even call that? Do we know? One, two, kick out. I'm gonna check. Let me check. I'm sorry. I hate to mess this up, but but he beat me with the elevated flatliner. Okay. Okay. We're gonna have to give it a better name than that. Vicky was amazing. I agree, man. I'm a big, big Vicky stan. I freaking love Vicky. Ivelisse coming back to AEW next Wednesday. Is Ivelisse, um... Is Ivelisse the, uh... Was she in Lucha Underground with Jack something and the other guy? <laughs> was that Ivelisse? With, was she all, uh, go over the pin. Off the comeback. No good. It's a kick out by Lashley. I think I like Ivelisse. I have a foggy memory. Snap suplex. Bobby Lashley. Has to catch up some ground here. He doesn't have a comeback. Or at least he doesn't at the moment. Close line here. Takes down Lashley. Roman Reigns. Picks him up. Irish whip. Up and over and out goes Lashley. Which one was 20? Vast of Night. We'll check it out. It was, it was solid. Vast of Night's good. I was I was very happy. The, the camera work was amazing. Um, for an indie movie, a Sundance movie, it's great. Going for that Superman punch, takes down Lashley. And you know what? I'm not a big fan of Roman Reigns as Drew McIntyre's representative. But uh, I like seeing Bobby Lashley get sucker punched in the face. One, two, three. Not three. Bobby Lashley survives. Showing once again that he is a powerful free agent, man. He has been once in our T-Mode universe. The universal T-Mode champion. Won it off of Seth Rollins. Lost it to Seth Rollins. So he is capable of collecting titles. And he might do it again tonight. Roman Reigns. Looking for the spear. Can he hit it? 
He's got it. Spear connecting. He's real close to the ropes. One, two, it might be done. Three, Roman Reigns in the finals. This is going to be an awesome final matchup between Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt. Roman Reigns finally getting to the finals of one of these Teemo tournaments. Will he capture a Teemo title? I mean, Bray Wyatt's got a similar story. We haven't seen him in Teemo either. Both of these guys are looking to make a name in Teemo tonight. Both of them are free agents. Both of them are saying, hey, we are top tier talents. And we're still free agents. We're still up on the board. What is that? That's craziness. I digress. Main event. Bray Wyatt. Roman Reigns. Two fantasy points and a team mode title on the line. Here we go. Yikes. Lashley does get his title opportunity. We, I think I really like his title opportunity happening on Monday night. I like that. I like that. And we will see what will become of it. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm going to do you one better because Brock Lesnar also has a title opportunity. We're going to do Lesnar versus Lashley. They're both still going to get their title opportunities, but there's a pecking order. Lesnar technically has first dibs at any title he wants in T-Mode, but I was thinking of giving that opportunity to Lesnar to whoever beat uh, whoever won the winner-take-all match between Booker and Drew. Um, so I think at the pay-per-view, I would love to see Lesnar take on Lashley one-on-one -on -one in just a single matchup. And whoever wins gets first dibs the next night on Monday Night Raw for a team mode title. I think that would be brilliant. They, they would both get um, opportunities for a fantasy point with a pay-per-view win. And... Uh, then they get a Teemo championship win the next night, possibly, if they can beat the champion. I think that is probably the best way to go to clear up all of the storylines that we've been building for the past month. It's Bray vs. Roman, nice. We used to do something cool here, and we might re-invoke it at some point. Um, I just want to rework it a little bit. Uh, any subscribers, we called it subscriber privilege, and they got to choose one of the eight superstars at the beginning of the uh, night, and if they chose the correct person to win the tournament, not necessarily the title, but the tournament, then they had control over the next team mode tournament. They could control which title was defended, and they could control the arena in which it was defended to a point. We might rework it and bring it back someday, but right now it's kind of in abeyance. To be fair, they hadn't shown up, so that might be a reason they hadn't been picked. That's true. That's true. I'm just in character. I'm not 100% in character tonight. When I say things like that, I'm in character. <laughs> Doing my damnedest to practice for that eventual commentary gig that uh, WWE's going to give me. Lesnar was selected. Lesnar is selected. Oh, you're right. You're right. Lesnar is selected by um, Aiden. From Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at but I haven't seen Aiden, so without representation, booking privilege goes to the owner. But I would love to see Lesnar versus Lashley, not only because Lesnar Lashley is... A matchup I've been wanting to see since Bobby Lashley and Lesnar both came back to WWE. Um, but having it at a pay-per-view just makes sense. We are in the finals here. Both of these guys. They have not been a team mode champion in team mode at all. Will they take their first championship shot tonight? And run with it. Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt, both these guys came in relatively the same time. One man, the powerhouse of the Shield. The other man, the leader of the Wyatt family. And this is your final matchup 
of the Teemo Tournament tonight. And we don't have a main event. We don't have a main event. I mean, unless something crazy goes down in this final matchup, this is your main event of the evening. Maybe, if we don't have anything crazy happen, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at the card and we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of a pay-per-view preview matchup. There it is. The United Kingdom Championship. Oh, it's pretty. It is a pretty championship. It was the first championship that I ordered from WWE.com. And it is on the line tonight. Bray Wyatt with the health advantage. Hits a huge clothesline. Goes for the pin. One, two. Kick out Roman. Lesnar versus Bobby versus Drew or Booker. My time championship next week. I think that's probably what I want to do. My YouTube friend thought WrestleMania 20 was when WrestleMania started to be long. Oh, too long. Maybe. Probably. What do you guys think of the uh, two-night WrestleMania event? Do you think they do that? Even, like, say COVID disappears next year and it's all back to normal. Might not happen. Because nobody's competent on planet Earth. Everybody's a bunch of idiots. If it goes back to normal and we have a relatively normal WrestleMania, do you guys like the two-day format? with all of the titles that we have to be defended. What do you guys think? I think NXT should definitely be a part of WrestleMania and not NXT TakeOver. Um, and I think they should have their own day on WrestleMania. Like, those titles should be defended at WrestleMania. I was a little upset when they did a TakeOver. I was like, nah, those need to be at WrestleMania. Going for the pin. One. Two. The ground and pound, not good enough. No, I think they earned one versus title shots. I think it depends on how many matches they have to do. Going for the pin. One, two, kick out. Do you have any YouTube friends? No. No, I'm the only YouTube friend that I got. Nobody else really does YouTube. Panda B. Mikey does do some YouTube. Um, and I think he has a YouTube channel of the same name. But no, I mean, there's a few people who do YouTube stuff. I know Clay Le if, she, if he's still in the chat, he streamed ye yesterday, so... I know that he's got a YouTube. But like, but like, YouTube friends? No. No. Powerful, powerful. Sit out, power bomb takes down Wyatt one. Two, three, it's done it. Roman Reigns will win this tournament and become your United Kingdom champion. And I think we're going to do a preview matchup for the Extreme Rules Horror Show. I think this belt looks good on Roman Reigns. This is a cool belt for him to have. Put that on your show. You show the people, Roman. Show the people. Show the people. Roman Reigns, your new United Kingdom champion for the NXT brand. Fantastic. Now, we will not be booking a Teemo tournament for Friday because we are planning on hitting Ghosts of Tsushima really hard this weekend. Um, so we might not have another night to do this so let's go ahead and take a look at the sheet and let's go ahead and book a main event match let's take a look at our card here so of course i want booker versus drew so there those are going to be two people we throw in um i i think i think because we have both of the people here andrade and baron corbin would make sense as well so we'll put both of them in and let's see. What else? Who else? Let's do Stone Cold in my time. Stone Cold in my time, Triple H. And if, and if anyone has a better idea, I mean, we're just going to do a three-on-three -three pay-per-view preview, which means just a fight, just a brawl, just to get people hyped up for the pay-per-view this Sunday. Um, I'll update all the pay-per-view cards, so don't you worry about that. Let's get people back in here.
friends. Well, I classify friendship. Okay, this is one thing that I'm, I'm going to be super clear about with a lot of different people. Like everybody, like people I work with, people that I know, people I Facebook friend, everything, right? Friends to me means we hang out. I tell you shit that I don't tell anybody else. That's friendship, okay? Everything else is like, okay, yeah, we have like a working relationship or we're acquaintances or, oh, hey, we know each other from Twitch. We know each other. I'm cool with this guy. Some people say I fucks with this guy, right? Things like that, okay? That is not friendship to me. Friendship to me is what me and Panda B. Mikey have. I tell him stuff that I would never, ever, ever say on stream. He tells me stuff he would never say on stream. We just know shit. That's friendship to me, right? Where like, like we go out, we have lunch, things like that. So, I mean, yes, in your definition of friendship, sure, per perhaps we, we would be friends. But in my definition, it's like, I know you. Yeah. So that's why I say I don't have YouTube friends because I just, it's just I, I'm, a, I'm a very socially secluded person very walled right for very good reasons um but let's let's do a main event here and uh we're gonna do this quick because this screen sucks here we go tag train wreck no that's not correct do we have an is it an eight man i don't think it's an eight man maybe it's an eight man hmm All right, well, we're doing an eight-man. <laughs> All right, let's get a, a Baron Corbin's one of our guys. Let's get him in there. Baron Corbin. On his team, we are going to put Drew McIntyre. And with them, we are going to put my time, Triple H. And with them, we are going to put, let's see, Apollo Crews or Kevin Owens. Let's put Apollo Crews in this team here. All right, over here, we've got Kevin Owens. Stone Cold, Steve Austin. Andrade. And World Heavyweight Champion, Booker T. Alright, so this is a big preview matchup. Uh, we're going to do entrances off for this match. And here we go. SummerSlam 88, why not? Why not? Um, so, no, I think they earned one versus title shots. Linger, um, oh, yeah, it's grainy. Yikes, what? Didn't I, wasn't this brawl? Did I screw this up? Maybe I screwed this up. By the way, it's 1220. If my internet cuts, it might, it might be a thing. I think this is an elimination match. That's okay. Triple H going after Owens here. Big eight man. Wait, Baron Corbin doesn't want a piece. He doesn't want. <laughs> Is Baron Corbin leaving? Baron Corbin doesn't even want to fight. What? <laughs> um, this is an eight man elimination tag team. I do believe. Kevin Owens taking on Triple H. We have a lot of Teemo champions in here. We got Mr. Money in the Bank, Andrade in here. Apollo Crews looking to take Kevin Owens' championship. Look at this. Stone Cold had some beef with, with Triple H on Monday night. He's going to continue it, and he's going after the Cerebral Assassin on the outside. Back into the ring goes Triple H. We're going to see that match this Sunday. Stone Cold is chomping at the bit to get in here and get a piece of Triple H, look at him, oh. Pop up power bomb and down goes Triple H. I think it's a KO match too. One versus one title shots mean. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to reread it. No, I think they earned one versus one. Oh, do you mean like um, Booker T and Lesnar? Yeah, so what, I, what I'm imagining is gonna happen is we're gonna have, um, or I mean, not Booker T and Lesnar. We're gonna have, um, oh, low blow. Low blow to Stone Cold. Um, we're going to have Bobby versus Lesnar at the pay-per-view. 
which we probably maybe should have put them in this matchup. Bobby versus Lesnar at the pay-per-view. The winner of that gets first dibs on Monday night for the My Time Championship. Whoever has the My Time Championship. It might be Booker and it might be Drew. Whoever wins that match on Sunday, they'll defend it Monday night. Double underhook. Superplex from the top rope. Stone Cold gets hit with a low blow and he has never been the same. Triple H now looking to end Stone Cold with the pedigree. Down goes Stone Cold. Triple H saying, I'll see you on Sunday. I think we're going to add that match too. Plus, we might add a uh, women's number one contenders match as well. Drew McIntyre is in. He had a pretty awful loss earlier tonight to Bobby Lashley. Wants to avenge that here in the main event tonight. Defending his My Time Teemo Championship against Booker T. This Sunday in a winner-take-all Extreme Rules match. Kevin Owens is back in. End it, Drew. End it, Drew. End it, Drew. German suplex. Watch out, ref. Jesus. Referee getting right in the way. Not smart. Kevin Owens is going to have to be careful here. His title is on the line. His championship his classic WWE championship is on the line against Apollo Crews who earlier this month won a title shot by beating Kevin Owens one-on-one -on -one in the first round of a team mode tournament Apollo Crews looking to take a WWE title off of Kevin Owens he might be able to get that job done at the extreme rules pay-per-view Kevin Owens desperately needs to make a tag he is gonna make a tag in comes Andrade Mr. Money in the bank He's got an opportunity to go for Baron Corbin this Sunday. Oh, he's got that arm trapped. Goes to the DDT and down goes Drew. Go pick him up. Suplex incoming. Opinions on eye for an eye match? Eh. Seth Rollins, I'm going to be honest. I like Seth Rollins a lot. But, like, like, his angle since COVID, since WrestleMania, honestly, I have just, I, it's just been like, I, 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 cool. Like, it's just like, all right, he's doing this now. Okay. All right. Whatever. I really would wish, I wished his rivalry was against Black, Aleister Black, and not Rey Mysterio. If I'm being honest. But it's fine. It's okay. Top row, Moonsault. Going after Apollo Crews. Crews goes down. It's going to... Well, I mean, it was a move so nice. Why not do it twice? And look at this. Drew McIntyre wants a piece. He arrives too late. The moonsault hits Apollo again. Um, yeah, I for an eye. Okay, we'll see. I mean, WWE said, no, someone's really going to lose an eye. And I'm like, what? what? So they're either lying or... I mean, I don't know. It's, oh, here comes Baron Corbin and Andrade immediately dips. He's like, no thank you. Kevin Owens. Catching. Going for the cannonball. And down goes Baron Corbin right away. Stunner to Baron Corbin. And you got to think Stone Cold is smiling in that corner. Baron Corbin immediately came in and is already getting destroyed in this matchup. Senton. Booker T, Stone Cold have yet... No, actually Stone Cold's been in. Booker T has yet to enter this matchup. I think Ray's son betrays him. Yeah, I mean, I've been waiting for that for, what, a year? How long is... It's been about a year, hasn't it? I've been waiting for that for quite a while. We'll see what happens. Hey, how's my stream? Is it choppy for anybody? I'm just curious, because my preview's a little choppy. Rollins versus Black. That's money right there. I agree. Oh, he does. That's why we challenged. <laughs> Andrade don't want none. 
He at least doesn't want any tonight. I mean, he's already had a match. Doesn't want to get an injury, I'm assuming. Right? He'll take Corbin. He'll take him in a last man standing match on Sunday. I thought this was a, a, a KO match, an elimination match. Um, I could have been mistaken. Let's see. Let's see. Isn't there a way? Match rules. KO on. Yeah, it's a KO match. Okay. Going back to some old school booking, right? We talked earlier tonight about WrestleMania, about the that fatal four-way, right? Where the main event would have been like Rock and Mankind after he gets destroyed. By the end of days, and look at this, finally here comes Andrade, and Baron Corbin's going to catch him and hit him with a running knockout punch. Uh, back in those old days when you would have like the main event be a tag team match between the, the champion and the challenger, and then two other top tier defenders, right? Those good main events. I'm thinking of like Stone Cold and Mankind teaming up against Triple H and Big Show, those types of things. Great. Great main events. Stone Cold, the first man to be eliminated here after getting hit with end of days. And Baron Corbin has the advantage over Andrade right now, and he is showing everybody what Sunday very well might turn out to be. New follower tonight, Mike, the man. Choosing Baron Corbin, and it seems to have given Baron Corbin a new lease on life here in T-Mode. Gets caught. STO. We saw how impactful that move can be over in New Japan. Evil, the new IWGP Intercontinental and World Champions, beating Naito with that very move. Joining Bullet Club. It's piqued my interest in uh, New Japan again. Well, no, another big shot. He's going to go off the ropes again, isn't he? He is. Here he comes. Damn. Baron Corbin is sending a message right now. Tags out. Who's in? Kevin Owens is in. Kevin Owens with a shoulder block. Baron Corbin wants out. And here comes Drew McIntyre. Big clothesline. Down goes Owens. Not choppy. Awesome. Okay. I started using Twitch because of Tara Babcock. I don't know who that is. Again, RGO, I think you told, you've you been telling me about your YouTube people. You're going to have to message that to me in the whispers. I'm not, I'm not going to remember. Owens. Tried to go for something in the corner. Gets completely reversed. Drew McIntyre now with a signature. Throws him up and over and out. Will you be streaming after the actual pay-per-view? Yeah, so um, I stream... I, I live in Utah, so my time is Mountain Standard Time, I think. Um, which is midnight Eastern. So look at me... Look for me to be live around 10 o'clock my time or midnight Eastern. 9 p.m. Pacific. That's around the time that I'll start streaming. And that is when we will come live with our show. If I do decide to stream earlier, it won't be WWE stuff. It'll probably just be random stuff because this is about the time that the WWE people expect me to be on. When I'm streaming away from those hours, it's usually something else. We will be live tomorrow night at midnight Eastern for Ghosts of Tsushima. We'll be streaming that from my PS4, so we'll see how that works. Could be an eventful night. Um, I don't know what that game's about, but uh, last Asian Samurai game that I played, I gifted, I gave out a lot of gifted subs every time I died. So if it's that type of a game, I might implement that rule tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Kevin Owens, Samoan drop. Has a finisher. He could hit it. Oh, he gets reversed. Hit him, Drew. Hit him. Oh. I want to see him hit the Claymore kick. I don't know why, but his AI, it just doesn't go for the Claymore kick. 
get on it, 2K devs. Fix his AI. She used to do porn. Who? Oh, Tara Bob, Bab, 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 Cock. Well, I mean, that's a pretty good name <laughs> for that. Sweet, I'm Eastern, so I'll be here for sure. Awesome. We can talk swamp fight and all that good stuff. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I'm, I'm super nervous about that swamp fight. I don't know what that's about. We'll see. Is it going to be good? Maybe. Ooh. As Samoa Joe would say, give us a kiss. Down goes Owens. Ground and pound. Oh, come on, Drew. With the Claymore, man. Oh, he doesn't know where to go. It's going to cost him. It's going to cost him. Reversal. Irish whip. Off the... Ooh, okay, into the corner. Into the corner. All right, all right. It's midnight over here. What time is it for me? It's, uh, it's 12.33 on my end. Does Booker not want any? I guess not. I mean, it's good strategy, right? It is good strategy. I just want to see Otis somehow show up and cash in. That would be hilarious. Oh my god, at the Swamp Fight? That would be funny. I mean, Braun Strowman should be a good champion, but for whatever reason, I just... I was like, eh. I mean, anyone on SmackDown, really, besides Sasha and Bayley, they're all great. And I like all of them as superstars, but I just go, eh. Well, here comes Triple H. Triple H will do the job. Running knee, classic, vintage, Triple H. Now Booker T wants some. Now Booker T and Triple H is going to let him get it. Here we go. Big running elbow. Hey, remember when they used to do that on uh, tags? They don't do this anymore. They really should. If you are in a big six-man tag team matchup, right, and you're in the main event of Raw, I don't know why you wouldn't call the spot of you get tagged in and all three of the other team come at you and you just boom, hit one, boom, hit two, boom, hit three, and then you just go round robin on them. Um, I don't know why they don't do that anymore. Triple H is immediately out. Booker T going for the scissors kick. And down goes Cruz. He does not even up this matchup, though. Cruz with the running heel kick. Uh, almost a, a Claymore kick, Drew. Running big boot. Apollo Cruz now working on Booker T. I one time asked Tara if she knew of this one guy... And what she said was hilarious. I don't want to say the details because your mods won't approve of it. That's true. Well, my mod is an auto mod. It's a robot. All right. So it just, it'll just, anything it finds not cool, it'll automatically take it out. And I, and I do that because, uh, the only people I want to have that responsibility of a mod is me or, or a close friend, somebody that I can like give a stern talking to, and then they're not upset. So somebody like Panda B. Mikey or, or another friend, but they just don't have the time. And they're not wrestling people. So I'll just let the robot do it. So yeah, they'll be held, but I'll, I'll likely uh, approve them for the most part. Right now my time is 1.33. 2.33, I got work at 8. But this is too good and fun to walk away from. This will be up on YouTube. If you, if you gotta go to work, hey, I completely understand. I get it. Have a good night. I, I, I didn't expect this match to go on this long. I, of course, wanted it to be an eight-man brawl where people were getting eliminated left and right. But, you know, here we are. <laughs> we I think we'll try to adjust this match as soon as it's over. Paulo Cruz, hearing that uh, you've got work tomorrow at eight and going... Yeah, let's hesitate on this suplex. In comes Owens. We're going to see this matchup on Sunday. Cruz picks him up immediately and drops him. Owens stays alive. Owens tried to go for something there. Gets reversed. Springboard suplex here. No, he's just going to hang him up on that. Wonderful.
Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Apollo Crews is fired up, man. Oh, boy. Kevin Owens has taken a lot of damage. He's been busted open. He rolls to the outside of the ring. Feel like there should be KOs allowable on the outside as well. My personal opinion. Crossroads action. I work from home. Rick and Morty. 1235, thanks for the follow. I work from home, so I literally just got to roll out of bed, turn on the computer, so not too worried about it. Nice. You work from home because of the whole COVID situation? I did for the last three months of the school year. It was awesome. <laughs> it's great getting paid and not really having to do anything. Got to watch my representative, Baron Corbin, in action. Hey, I feel you, man. It's always good to be included in the show. Knife edge chop. Owens returns the favor. Irish whip tosses him. Back into the ring. Not really an Irish whip. German suplex. Crew's going to get that positive buff. And continue the damage on Owens. Again, this is a preview of what you can see on Sunday. The Extreme Rules Horror Show pay-per-view stream special. Live on this channel, midnight Eastern Time, 9 Pacific. We'll be talking Extreme Rules Horror Show from the real world. We'll be talking SmackDown. All sorts of fun stuff. The winner uh, of T-Mode at that checkpoint will be getting a gifted sub awarded to them. If I win, I will be giving out five gifted subs. Because I'm generous. Pop-up powerbomb incoming for Apollo Crews. And Crews goes down, but he is not out. How? Stun him. Oh my god, watch out, ref. <laughs> Kevin Owens threatening to stun the ref. Yikes. Set on. He's got to get some energy. How's it going, Rick and Morty? Welcome to the show. Apollo Crews answers back with a power bomb of his own. He's going to go tag in one of his tag team partners. In comes Triple H. Stone Cold, part of this match earlier, was eliminated. Reversal here from Owens. Finisher, Owens. Finisher. He gets caught in the spine buster. But he gets back up immediately. Snap that takedown. Big shot to Owens. Triple H going to gain some of that energy back. Come on, hit him. Hit him with the pedigree. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, okay. Not going to be the pedigree. Jesus. What is this match? Oh, my game crashed. <laughs> my game crashed. Son of a bitch. No. That's what happens when... Uh, that's what happens when you piss off the WW2K gods and you're like, okay, this match has been going on for like 15 minutes. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. We only got like two minutes of airtime left. We got to speed it up. That's what happens when you try to, t to tempt the WW2K gods. They go, oh... This is why we don't do typical tag team matches. My mistake. The main event. We're going to give the the win to Team Triple H, uh, Baron Corbin, Apollo Crews, and Drew McIntyre because uh, they had more people. Damn it, man. That's annoying. Mm. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's irritating. Oh, well. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for hanging out. YouTube people, have a good night. I'm going to go play some Halo for a bit. Uh, maybe for an hour or so. And, I mean, I gotta go to work tomorrow. So, we might, we're gonna play some Halo. If you do have Amazon Music. Oh, you know what? I never gave him his, his due. I'm so sorry. Let me quickly update that. Gets his star. 
give him his star, man. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we got we got what we wanted, which was some good footage of a little bit of a preview of what you can expect on Sunday. We're gonna go play some Halo. I kind of want to play some Halo Three maps. Maybe we'll do some ranked. I don't really want to play ranked without a buddy, so I might not play ranked unless I have a friend. And I don't think any of my friends are awake. So we will be just doing some social Halo stuff and listening to some music and just cooling down for the night. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining. YouTube people, have a good night. Twitch people, now is a great time to throw me your random stuff because that's kind of what we do.